A quick walk all down at these springs. What are you spotted, gnomes? What are the springs called, gnomes? Bulla Balana Springs. It's like a good walking track here, gnomes. Go on a short one. And crystal clear waters. Anything to hold on to or any dirt to get any nutrients from. It's on the top of a rock. That uh you want to pose to the camera, dear? We are near Ark Rula at Bula Balana Spring. And guess what? There's water. It's freezing cold. Is it? Who would have thought? I've been a hot spring. in front of it or something. I just put a towel in front of it. Well, I think a shoe would be better. Not my shoes. I was going to use Winona's shoes. No! Is that a cave up there? I better go check it out. Have a look at the bones going in there. It's amazing. what's happened here is this cave was used by goats possibly in the summer you can tell that all the bones are goats and they would have gone in there to shelter um, from the summer's heat and unfortunately passed away due to the heat that's what I'm guessing has happened what do you think Nanes? I'm guessing you're probably right there the only other Guess would be that there's a bird of prey, but these no. are pretty large animals when they're alive. Yeah. It'd be really hard to get them up though. That's right. And they're all just up on the side of this hill. Definitely trying to hide out for shelter in the summer, I reckon, in this dry desert. Completely different times to what it is right now. Found 
the Spotty Mount Chambers. So, last night we camped at Copley. We went along this road up to Arcarula for lunch. And then we've come down here. Along here. We checked out that one. That one's a station camp. And now we're at Mount Chambers. The plan for tomorrow is to head down into the Flinders Ranges. And then get a bit closer to Broken Hill somewhere. We're getting ready to cook some dinner. We've got it here on the table waiting for some coals. Zach, what's been your favourite part of today? Mm -hmm. The walk was fun that we went on just then. Got some good photos. When you get those iconic photos in these areas, it's pretty specco. Photographers out there understand what I mean. <clears throat> um, other than that, it's been nice seeing a little bit of water. And yeah, this area is, just, is so much better having a change. We just had desert for so long and now this is still desert but we've got trees everywhere and there's rivers and hills um, yeah a bit of a change and it's nice it's nice seeing the rock formations it's good I hope we've got lots of birds in the morning Sun's going down in there. This morning we've been listening to the beautiful sounds of nature and I've found this a shingleback skull you can see You can see the scales, and there's the eye hole, the nasal cavity, and the teeth. The jaw is a bit dislocated. It's a slow start this morning because it's such a lovely spot but Winona reckons we should move on. I suggested a walk this morning but um, Winona reckons we should find somewhere new. Yeah we did a walk yesterday. Mm-hmm. Now we'll find somewhere else. But I have enjoyed this spot. No, no. Could be worse. Could they? They could be full of mud and now just wet. Okay, or Mount Chambers, whatever you wanna. I don't know. We went on the walk through the gorge. Um. Anyway, we're going to head down. We can either go this way, or we can go that way. Which way would you Why, like why to can't go? we go? Oh, that doesn't join up. Oh, yeah, we want to go through the Flinders. So mm. we're going to go out to the main road and turn left. And then we'll go through here. Yeah, I want to go under the Flinders. 
Yeah. And then either we'll go this way or we'll go that way. Mm-hmm. After that. Yeah, let's go into here and check it out. Have lunch in here. Yeah. Okay. Direct me there. Okay. This is the spinachy green plant. It's got a stalk kind of like celery except with red through it. And the flowers, they're like lanterns. Bit of a change of scenery. Looks nice. I like it. have found some ruins. Yeah. This ruins over here on the other side of this creek bed was the home of the Wills family. Joseph Wills and his wife and three kids moved over to Australia from England in 1858 to start a farm. Uh, in this pasture here where there's a heap of uh, bricks was his uh, veggies patch area. He built the wall to keep cattle and that out of the, the veggie patch. He also had 500 head of cattle out here. Um, one year later he got a letter from the government saying that that uh, well it said of general purpose but well, general use, but it was telling him he needs to remove himself from the land that he owns. Uh, well, it didn't actually say exactly for, but what it was for was for mining. Um, it then became the historical moment of the Battle of the Wills, the Wills family, of a heap of miners that wanted this land, mainly because of the creek waters, and they wanted the creek waters for, for for the mining purposes. Will's family wouldn't leave. And it came to the point that a whole heap of miners came in and shot all of Will's uh, cattle in, in cold murder. And drove the Will's family out of their home. This, this here is what's left of their home. But yeah, quite a sad story, really. He came over here and he wanted to start his family and farm, which seems really, really nice and peaceful. And um, then to have that put on him. The outhouse. Usually placed about 150 paces from the back door of the house. It's about that. There's another building on the other side, better go check that out. The outhouse over here is the kitchen. It consisted of a hut with a one fireplace in it and it used to be like, just described as having yeah bread and things in it. They've kept it over away from the house because it had a lot of combustible material in it and they didn't want it to um, cause a fire in the home. But uh, Seems like the home lit on fire first. Let's check out the miners headquarters. And so what was this building? This was the mine the mine managers building and it's thought to be built by a professional builder due to the quality. Um, it's got a pretty even thickness all the way around. It's much larger and much straighter. 
It sure is, isn't it? These miners' huts were set up everywhere. This one here that I'm standing right next to, uh, believed to be one of the kitchens, or the cook's house. I kind of feel sorry for Joseph Wills. What do you think, Nance? I think both parties had their own opinions and both parties caused their own trouble. What did the um what well, did it actually say what they were mining? No, but to use the water for for mining. For the mining, so like cleaning up yeah. the stones. Well, yeah, they they yeah, they um use it to find the stones or something. <clears throat> I just wanted to extend a bit on the Battle of Wills. Um, extending on thinking about if you were to come to this new country that you're told there's plenty of land for everyone and plenty of resources for everyone and then you come over here and then it's all taken out from under your feet. Um, it, it, it would be scary with the tug of war of Aboriginals at one end and the Europeans at the other. But they were also fighting each other. It, it really was every every man for himself. This is, this is like, well, you've got a good river system there, and we want to use it for our mining. That's it. Selfish never pays. like stuff to do with kingfishers. <laughs> there are quite a lot of different Aboriginal markings throughout this land. So the regional Dream stories about Yali, the Kingfisher. Acacia seeds were used to make damper. An Aboriginal person is called Yora. Alta is the Yaka. Weeda, the river red gum. Ega, the native orange. Yes. Miyaka, the bush banana. And Eroti, native peach. Um, just down the road a little bit and look what we find Arla it's just telling us about the nectar that we use as bush foods look at that pattern I'm a sucker for nature's maths so this is with the pollen form and then this one, you can see the seeds. The seeds are ready. Oh, nearly ready. Where are we? Been picked. Pekina Creek, Creek. Creek? Mm -hmm. in Pekina Creek and 
the wind outside is very icy and chilly and I'm postponing helping out the car to get dinner sorted. Yes. It, it's our last official night of our trip. Well, official camping. Yeah, official mm. camping night. And tomorrow we'll probably stay at your dad's. Yeah. And then after that we'll go back to Melbourne. But it's a pretty nice looking spot. Just the wind is a bit icy. Yeah, that's it. So it's cold coming down south. We're doing some computer work. Mm-hmm. Getting some of the footage Sort of for you sorted. guys. <laughs> and we're sad because we're heading south. Yes. It's one of those things when you go on holiday, you do have to go back to reality. Yeah, yeah I know. <sighs> I've been observing the area around us. And look at that. That is perfect. The perfect home for a possum or a lorikeet sized bird. A gl family of gliders. Something along those lines. But that's pretty good to see. You don't see that sort of stuff in the city. Usually as soon as the branches die off, they're chopped and gotten rid of. But that's the beautiful thing about being out on the country and you get to see nature be left to do what nature does. I think it's just about time I should put my jacket on. <laughs> You're procrastinating it a lot, Nones, aren't you? Yes. It looks beautiful, but it's super cold. I'll get the fire going for you, hey? Tonight we have a lazy dinner. Oh, it's pretty good. One pot wonder. Yep. What is it, Zach? Uh, you've got uh, mince uh, beef, and then you put uh, rice and and uh, oh, not rice, peas and corn, and then we've got what were the what was the what was the sachet you put in there? Stir fry sachet, chicken. butter chicken sachet, and plus the two minute noodles and its chicken flavour, um, and yeah, Let's see how it goes, hey. Mmm. In a cup. In a taco cup. Mm-hmm. That's nice, Nones. Get into it. That's good. <laughs>